What's up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Sorry for the lack of videos in the past couple of weeks. Sort of fell into a little slump, but now we're back. Luna finally has an update for Big Sur. So now my computer won't crash with Luna and just start over, because that was annoying, but Universal Audio is amazing and they got us off for update. So hope everyone's doing well out there. Everyone was practicing, playing guitar, staying at home, washing their hands, and today we're back with a Theory is Dead video focusing on Jack Straw. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, so as always as it was in the video and the intro, today we're looking at Jack Straw. I know I haven't done the Dead Theory in a while, but we're back, right? So Jack Straw, my favorite song, soul section's awesome. Chords are pretty simple. D, B minor, A, E. Also, D, B minor, A, E. Right? triads, right? Now the cool thing is, is that really you only have to know two scales because when you're on D, and B minor, you're playing the same scale. When you're on A and E, you're playing the same scale there. So, what do I mean, mean by that? D and B minor are the exact same notes. B minor is relative minor to D major, right? So you have your D major here. Right? Your B minor, you could say you could start, let's say, the octave on the ninth fret of the D string, right? They're the exact same scales, right? So when you're going to D, B minor, solo D major. When you go to A and E, you're gonna make that E a mixolydian, right? So the A and the E are the exact same scales. You can also do right here. Right? There's your A, here's your E. Mixolydian. Right? So now the fun part is just going for it because when you're on this D and B minor, it goes by pretty fast, right? Always solo D major here. And when you go to the E, you can hit that G sharp, right? Or even spell out a triad wherever you are.
you can move it around wherever you are. That's why it's so important to know your scales because you come to D major here. Right? And your E major, you can do it here also. A major. Right? Know your shapes because you want to have the most confidence you can to dominate the solo and know it really, really well. So, solo ideas keep something like this. It and also build dynamics because also in Jack Straw, you probably have maybe three solos, right? So you don't have to do your whole arsenal in the first solo. Build it up. First solo would be a little less busy. Second solo, a little more busy maybe. and just take it off the roof because the ending will be right much louder than the previous volume so hope that helps I guess the key in all is remember D and B minor are the exact same right A and E makes Lydian Are the same. Go crazy and soul the world. <laughs> Alright guys, that is Theory is Dead, Jack Straw, like I always say, one of my favorite Grateful Dead tunes, an awesome solo section and great opportunity to build up solos every time because I think there's about three solos in the song. So you can start small, get medium, then dynamic wise build all the way up for the ending chorus and the ending of the song and rock the stadium, right? So hope everyone enjoyed today's video. Sorry if, as well, if it seemed a little sloppy. I cut my finger last night, as you can see. I have a bandit on, but we're still rocking and rolling here because injuries don't stop us. Um, so hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching as usual. Click like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.